Yo guys, today is a great day. Today is Saturday. It's my day off. I'm going to do some street photography with my photographer friend. So that will be great. We'll hang out, practice some photography and have a great time. Hi guys, I'm here at Portobello Market Road. We'll be doing some street photography right now. And Andrew, my friend, has lots of experience in uh, street photography and not only street photography. Just documentary all sorts photography, of, everything. Yeah, yeah. Documentary. Andrew, I just wanted to ask you maybe some tips and tricks before we start. What should we look for today? to take some nice pictures. I think oddly enough, the first thing you should look for is the background before you start taking pictures of people or the subject because it sort of, it balances out what's in the foreground. And basically what you really want to do is tell a story. Something how can we tell a story through pictures? I know how to do it through video, but then how do you tell the story? It's really how you balance how one object is connected with the other. So you have, for instance, a man holding something with his hands and then you see the eye contact so you see that the person is looking at the object uh, I mean that is just a, a basic example I mean to me there are two things that actually speak to you and those are the hands and the eyes okay uh, so in photography when you balance the two together they can really tell a story oh wow so yep. we're looking for a story, we're looking for a good backgrounds, interesting backgrounds. Yep. And we're at Portobello Market. A wonderful place. Uh, can, you, can you say a few words about this place? It's a lovely place. It's, uh, it's What's it known for? It's really known for the market. People come here and just have a look around, shop around, try the food, which is really good. Yeah, really easy to get to. Cool. Let's explore. Let's uh, see what we will end up with. Yep, let's have fun. Really busy today, really busy. So it's quite tight. So therefore, we've got had to go wide on the lenses. But uh, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Do we have any results so far? Do you think? Any I good have shots? no idea because I'm shooting analog, <laughs> and I have to go through the whole processing of developing it. And uh, I'm keeping my fingers crossed. You're basically going blind. I'm going blind, <laughs> and I either have a smile on my face or <laughs> tears in my eyes. So we'll see. Okay, let's yeah. keep going. Your camera is so small. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sneaky. <laughs> uh, it works. Yo guys, we just finished our photo shoot on Portobello Market Road here in London. I took quite a few pictures, Andrew took a few. I used my digital camera, Sony, Andrew used both digital and analog. Mainly analog. Yeah, it was so fun to watch you, Andrew, how you change your film, choose ISO and being a lot more restricted than yeah. I am. You're stuck to certain settings and you yeah. just have to work yeah. around that. Yeah, it's Be very restrictive. Because I was walking around and taking lots of pictures while you just took maybe one or two. I had a lot more freedom, but I'm not sure I had more good pictures. I think you'll end up with a lot more good pictures than I did. Well, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> what I learned today, it's good to have someone else to take pictures together with. It's yeah. fun. Yeah, and you can bounce ideas off each other. Yeah, bounce ideas off each other. Also, what Andrew uh, shared with me, it's good to have time and a place to be creative. Yeah. Like like today. On Saturday morning, we just decided to come around to meet here in Portobello Market Road and to go for a photo shoot and yeah, spend this time being creative. It's a beautiful place, uh, so therefore you can put in your own character. Yeah. On, on what you can take yeah. yeah I would love to keep doing it I'm not a good photographer I'm getting there but I'm not I'm far from there far from being good so I want to practice more and yeah it's so good to do it with someone else so thank you Andrew Absolute pleasure for spending time with me today teaching me some stuff have a good day guys bye have fun